In this third video, we're going to connect a pot up to the Arduino and control a fader with it. That's a little bit more work, not much more work. Um, so basically, I have a pot connected on my uh, Arduino shield um, and very simply center pin to input analog 2 and then ground and 5 volt and ground here um, using, I think, a 5K or a 10K pot. And you'll be getting a value from 0 to 1027 using the Arduino. Um, and obviously that needs to be converted, otherwise you will have some fun. Now I've commented out some code that you can download on the uh, on the GitHub section uh, on the UI control on my name. Uh, so you can download that and then you'll have to comment out some of it to get the right system working. Uh, so basically again Arduino with the shield and a pot and we already have the pins connected from before. Um, the only things that we added to the code, basically, we have the pot pin that equals 2, analog pot pin, the pot value, initial value 0, the all pot value 0 to make sure that we're not keep, we don't keep sending values all the time. We want to compare values. And the code here is very rudimentary, probably can be done in a better way, but it's really easy this way to show you a simple a task that we done and float I'm doing float because to the UI 24 we can't send a value between uh, 0 and 1024 we need to send a value between 0 and 1 so we need to use a float there the rest is pretty much the same as we, what we had before besides the last bit here where we read the pot value first that'll give us a number uh, we check if it's the same as the old value uh, we print that on the screen we then and make sure the old value gets reinitialized with the new value and then we're sending that to the UI, a client print because UI is our um, server that we're sending it to. We send the command and then we send the value and the LN here is the value. Now uh, this time I'm sending the full value just I want to show you uh, what happens because this is important to know how to check things and then I'm printing this on the screen the same thing exactly. Uh, if you're sending values out of range to the UI, um, doing this kind of uh, coding, you might suddenly discover that things are disappearing because they don't know where to go. Uh, it's quite funny, but uh, I'll show you how to reset that as well. So let's upload this code and uh, open our serial and actually maybe go and uh, Open the UI here. Yeah, oh, good. Okay, okay. So we have that there happening. So remember, this time I'm sending full value to the uh, UI, not half, not bits, but the full value. And in a minute, it'll all come up. Board rate fifty-seven six hundred. Remember how to how we did that last time as well. And uh, here we go. We're connected now. And I removed the code that shows you all the parameters because that was just wasting time. So if I go to my pot now, right here, and I move it a little bit, as you can see, channel 1 has disappeared. It's gone. The fader is gone. If I go back to 0, it'll appear. So it's either 0, it totally disappears off the screen. Now, if I would, was to turn this off now here, we'd be in trouble because your fader is gone. So if you find that suddenly a mute button is missing because you sent in 0.5 instead of 1 or 0 or incorrect value, the easiest thing to do is to hold down and uh, go reset channel and that fader will come back up on, on the screen, okay? Um, so I'm resetting the channel and that fader will come back. Remember, I'm, keep, I'm keeping sending values here. So as soon as I send it a reset, it's sending another value back up there and it's not happy about life, okay? So make sure you can see the fader. Now let's fix that code snippet quickly. Uh, so we'll go here and basically you need to divide it by 1024. Change it to a float value first of all. So I'm converting the actual integer value 1024 to a float so then I can uh, divide it and give it a few um, move to decimal point over as well. So I'm going to uncomment these and this is what you'll have to do when you download the code from GitHub as well. So commented them out. We'll upload that into the UI now, uh, into the Arduino and um, let's see what happens now. Okay, same deal. 
um, going from here. I mean, obviously you, you can add more parts. You can add more buttons. The, the button and the pot are running at the same time now. So I have mute and I have um, um, fader control at the moment. And this is really the beginning of a, a project that you can set up. You could set up, for example, if you wanted to mute several channels at the same time or, or anything else. So let's have a look here what we're doing. Okay, now we'll see what happens with the fader. So now we have nice, very smooth control of the... Okay, we have very smooth control of the fader. And the value, as you can see, is right there. Now, if we were to use our code that we've learned how to use before, you could see that fader sending out more accurate value than that. But really, you don't need anything more accurate than, than this in, in reality. And at the same time, if we want to control our mute button, we have mute on, and we have mute off. Okay. And we have a channel strip control from a little Arduino with a bit of code and a bit of knowledge. Please subscribe to the channel. Again, all the code is up on GitHub. So you'll find it there. Uh, you'll be able to download it, comment, add, build the code up uh, so others can learn from it as well.